Welcome everybody to the hot hottest damn show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania. I'm Matt, your favorite. Our guest tonight, The Riz. You are my favorite. You are my Russell's son. Oh. Also joining us tonight, DP. Hey, Matt. It's growing on me. It's growing. The DP is growing. I know. I know. It, it, once the DP starts going, it just can't get stopped. Well, it's been nice, everybody. I'm going to go now. <laughs> it's just. <sighs> uh, we also have Tina. Hello. Hello. Let's uh, let me tally how many feelings you hurt on Tuesday night's Mayhem Mania, Tina. I not only funny. did you get, not only did you, you attempted to get the Riz, but it kind of, eh, I don't know. I mean, he did learn something from it. I mean, it was more like a lesson than a punishment. That was, it was more of a lesson rather than a punishment. Yes. You're right. You're right. Um, but in the chat room, <clears throat> there was great wailing uh, and gnashing of teeth. There was uh, Bobby was complaining. Mm -hmm. Alex was complaining. I think even Brandon was complaining. Brandon has no reason to complain. Um, but um, I guess you got him. Hashtag got him. Hashtag got him. Mission accomplished. I guess so. <laughs> Who were you hoping the wheel would fall on for Riz? There was no really hope. I, I wanted to see how quick he was on his feet. That was all. I wanted no, that no, wheel to. He asked for chaos. I asked. I asked for it. It wasn't quite chaotic enough. So I guess in that way, it was a punishment and that it wasn't total chaos. It was a teaching moment. It was I, a teaching I will, moment. I will ask again and again and again and again for the punishment. Because I want to see this entire thing explode. <laughs> well, you got to wait for the next match to graduate. Which so, is probably going to be your match, probably because uh, uh, with with tonight, probably not. <laughs> we can thank Bad Mike for that. But that's Every time I think we're getting close on one, I I, can't, I still can't believe we got one through. It's it's been it's been tough out there this year. That's okay. Um, I, 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 that's okay. <laughs> one way or another, we'll get those eight matches graduated. It just might get a little messy at the end. I'm still upset uh, that my up, up, down, down versus left, right, right, left, right was one week away. I like that one too. That was a good so, match. Uh, like uh, Masa versus Cesaro. That was one week away too. That was too. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all of you paying such close attention uh, to the game as we play along here. Oh, just to circle Somebody back, Riz, to. I was hoping the wheel of NXT UK was going to fall on Wild Boar. That's who I wanted yes. you to have to use. So I really wanted to, like, I really wanted somebody out of the blue for that. For that. Yeah. Because I was and then you try gonna... to figure out, like, oh my god, what the hell is? <laughs> oh no, I I know Wild Boar. Are you kidding me? Why, who doesn't know Wild Boar? I mean, is I know Wild Boar. Is he the one that, with like the weird uh, black uh, contact lenses? Like, just just am I thinking I, of somebody else? Is he? I think he's in the Hunt, right? He's in a tag team. Yeah, the Hunt, they're that's... like the Retribution of uh, NXT UK. They're like, uh, except they're all animals. Except the uh, and Eddie Dennis. That is weird. Let me see. Because so. I remember when it first started that he was one of the people that I saw on there. And I'm like, like when, when NXT, NXT UK started, I remember him clearly because it, you, you wouldn't actually forget somebody like him at all. Definitely. Uh, da, 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 da. You look that up. I'll yeah, recap the matches. Him. Okay. 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 Good. All right, here are the matches right now. Uh, the cinematic match lives to see another week. The Fiend and Alexa Bliss versus Johnny Mundo and Taya versus Bad Bunny and Bailey. We now have Jardine Gargano and Candice LeRae versus Dexter Loomis and Indy Hartwell, DP. Um, Big E versus Bronson Reed. Tina made that one. A-Kid versus Dolph Ziggler. Kid. That was Riz. Daniel Bryan versus Adam Cole survives the week. Brandon adds Damian Priest. So it is now Damian Priest versus the Demon Finn Balor versus Aleister Black versus Karrion Cross. I can't wait to see who are we missing 
that fits this general aesthetic that we can still add to this match. I know. I got okay. one for that one. I got, okay. I, I got one for that one. I, okay. I hope I'm on next week, but I do have a good fill in for that. But I'm probably not. I, I, I've been picking a lot this this year, so I might just sit out this one. I might I might just message you my theory on that one. Your secret's safe with me. Yeah. I've been telling you. Uh, we also have we now have Keith Lee versus Pete Dune versus Cesaro, and we have Kushida versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Elias. As a uh, sword, comes in with his uh, annual. Use of Elias. Actually, it's kind of like a bi-weekly thing now at this point. Um, we're going to make a special rule for Sorg that he can no longer use Elias. What? Is he listening? <laughs> <What? laughs> and there goes the feed. <laughs> Just want to make sure you're still paying attention, Sorg. That's all. So, so oh, we're going to the space jail soon. Oh my god, space jail. Tina. Oh, oh. Tina, I got to yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Why Asuka? Again, teaching moment. I want to keep the players on their feet. Asuka has been a little bit of a crutch. Just saying. She doesn't have any teeth right now. So we couldn't yeah, have her anyway. left. Okay, I get it. I get it. We're raising the bar. Mm-hmm. You know, we're all trying to challenge ourselves and each other <laughs> throughout this Uh Whole process, oh. even though that one match I really wanted is no longer a match they can make. Which one was that? Asuka versus Mako. Mm. Speaking of, I have a theory um, mm-hmm. about a Mako match, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that to myself. Good idea. Mako well, I mean, when this airs, airs, the Mako versus Kaylee Ray match will have already aired, so it's already happened. We are broadcasting in the future. Here on Talking Mayhem Mania on a fr- it's Friday night. Smackdown has just happened. That dastardly head of the table, gosh dang, he done it again. And um and Kaylee Ray and Mako Satamora had a match on NXT UK, and we don't know what happened yet. But we'll find I it. besides it was an amazing match. I'm sure it was a fine match. Yes. Kaylee Ray's good. Oh yeah. I think. <laughs> it's like I, I keep waiting, I was like. All I can think about whenever this is a real tangent. Um, I, I just um, like she didn't really stand out to me until she got dragged into that War Games match. That was probably like two years ago now. Uh, uh, but she was awesome in that match, and I've been on board with it ever since. Speaking of Kaylee Ray, I think I actually mm-hmm. mentioned this to Sorg as well, and I got um, he told me his thoughts on it. Um, depends on how how good your stomach, how strong your stomach is. Check out the Queen of Insanity match between herself and Piper Niven um, from ICW's Fear and Loathing. Okay. It gets like that, huh? It gets like that. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, um, yeah, let's um, go through the rest of the I don't think anyone else is getting out of space. Joe held pretty firm this week. Uh, so Oscar's going to go into cell six. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Well, there's your whole raw. T- you got title basically. Picture. You got like the whole raw title picture locked and, in space jail now. And Billy Kay. And Billy Kay. And the rest of the gang. I don't think uh, you know Shane or Dominic or Brock. Like they don't even make it a ripple. Like no one. I don't even think if they got out. I don't think they're getting used now. But um. You know, it's it's more for the you know you got to send a message sometimes. So. I have I have a few, I have a few thoughts for, on those ones you mentioned, as well yeah, as yeah. some that are not mentioned. If the if the opportunity strikes, we'll see. We'll say, see. If, I must say, if you're going just for straight chaos, and not necessarily the best bastards, but just to throw chaos everywhere. I mean, Braun and Shane are definitely would be great chaos agents. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, especially with you figure Shane, there's a pirate ship there. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he's he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He, 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 he can just yeah. like, like yeah. Have, have the pirate ship. Hmm. 
Have Braun throw him off the pirate ship. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or fire him out of a cannon. So <laughs> pretty much. And uh, yeah, either way, it should be fantastic. I hope. We'll see. Hopefully the pirate ship. I really yeah. hope the pirate ship comes into play. Man, I just realized Alexander Wolf is still there. Hmm. Still employed. Mm-hmm. For him. Go ahead. Go on. Oh, no, I, I was just meant... I thought Tina was going to say something. That's why I stopped there. Oh, we'll, we'll let Riz finish, and then there's one more piece. I know, I was just, like, looking at the roster for NXT UK now because I'm very interested in, in, like, a lot of things, and I'm like, I don't know half these people in this match, in, exactly. in this uh, in, on this roster, and then I was like, holy shit, Alexander Wolf is still here. <laughs> the only... Well, besides... Besides Neki, the only member of uh, Sanity left. Mm-mm. Killian's still there. Oh, yeah, Killian's still there. Never mind. With, with, with the greatest <clears throat> tag team music entrance ever. That's very true. You want to hum us a few bars? <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I would <clears throat> never do. I could never do it, it <laughs> the true justice it deserves. No, I would not degrade that. No. Okay. <laughs> Probably the right call. <laughs> All right, Tina, go ahead and give the final word, then we'll get out of here. <laughs> you have one more piece of business to take care of that you mentioned that I had today. Oh, yes, we must um, uh, book an individual uh, for the Mayhem Mania mm-hmm. watch along. Have you come up with an answer? Yes, I have. You said anyone, non wrestling entity as well, correct? Anyone? I'm I am very flexible on this one, very flexible. I just want to see the com the comedic commentary or just that's not safe for work in this case. Um, the creator of the Creep Squad herself. I want to see Faye Jackson a part of the, yep. a part of the watch. <laughs> all right, all right, that's good. <laughs> excellent, excellent first choice. We're gonna set setting the tone right now for the. For the watch along room so that's good that's good we got that down and uh hopefully we graduate some more matches so we can book some more people for the watch along let's see i have to come up with some other ways to fill up this room it's looking dire we'll see how things go next week but hey one way or another we're going to get eight matches on the super card um and fortunately we have a couple extra weeks more than we typically do so we've got lots of time it's going to be fine we're only in round what round are we in Six. Oh, all right. We're in round six. We have 10 rounds this year. And if my math is correct, the 10th round is money in the bank or Patreon in the bank. So we have three more normal rounds and then all hell breaks loose. Probably time for me to start calculating the uh, balance of moves being made. But hey, I thank all of you for volunteering to participate in Mayhem Mania tonight. I didn't want to drag anyone in against their will because I knew Tina was waiting and I knew what the punishment was. So I wanted volunteers. So I thank all of you brave souls for volunteering to be on uh, Mayhem Mania, except for Sorg. We dragged him in against his will. So, um, but he didn't mind. And uh, thank you so much um, for joining us tonight. Thank you for enjoying Mayhem Mania. Check out wrestlingmayhemshow.com catch up on the lore we'll see you on tuesday stay may hemi this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com